going to discuss how to change the representation used for an operator. I'm going to do this in two different ways um, in the hope that that helps you see things. So let's start by thinking about the definition of the action of an operator. So we'll start by saying that an operator A acting on a ket, um, and I'm going to use zeta in this case to avoid confusion later, is going to equal to ket chi. Now we will expand in a basis um, so we'll assume uh, a basis which I will label as phi and I will use the subscript i for that basis. So now chi, the ket chi, is equal to the sum over i of bi phi i, where bi are the coefficients, and the ket zeta will equal the sum over j of cj ket phi j. And we can write the original equation um, as a vector matrix equation. So we would have the matrix A, remember the double underline means it's a matrix acting on the vector C is equal to the vector B, um, where the elements of the matrix A i k are given by bra phi i a hat ket phi k. And I'm going to label this matrix vector equation as equation one. Now assume a different basis. So we want to change basis to let's say ket psi a. <coughs> so we will be able to write ket chi is the sum over a of b prime a psi a, where b prime indicates that it's a different set of coefficients. Um, we know, as we discussed in lectures and in a previous video, that we can write the vector b prime is equal to the matrix S acting on the vector b, and S is the similarity transform. We have b prime a is defined as bra psi a ket chi and s a i is equal to bra psi a ket phi i. So if we chose to we could write bra psi a ket chi is equal to the sum over i of psi a phi i phi i chi and this first term is the matrix element s i a i and the second term is the matrix element b i now we just need to extend this approach to the operator situation so let's take equation one And we're going to multiply on the left by S. So we get S acting on B is equal to S A C. Now we know that S s dagger is equal to the identity, but that's also equal to s dagger s. And what we will do is we will insert a copy of the identity matrix in between a and c. So we see that we have s acting on b is equal to s a, and then I'll put this in brackets, s dagger s acting on C. Um, and we've done nothing here because we simply inserted an identity operator. Now I'm going to shift the brackets and so we have S acting on B is equal to brackets S A S dagger and then we have S acting on C. But now we know already that S on B is actually B prime um, and we can assume that a prime is just the representation of A in the new basis 
and we're going to act with c prime and this is with a prime equal to s a s dagger and that's one way to see how we can change representation there's a second way um, which involves matrix elements and I will do that on a new page. In order to do this, let's assume from the start two basis sets. We're going to have phi i and we're going to have psi a. We know, uh, because this is how we've defined it, that bra phi i a hat ket phi j is a i j. Those are the matrix elements that we want. Um, but we want bra psi a a hat ket psi b, which we will label as a prime a b. We can do this in two different ways. Um, we could expand psi in terms of phi, but just for a bit of variety, I'm going to actually expand phi i, phi j in terms of psi b. So let's expand phi j in psi b, and we'll expand the bras as well. We'll expand bra phi i in bra psi a. And once we've done that, we will be able to see how to convert between the two different representations. So we write ket phi j is the sum over b uh, of ket psi b bra psi b, remembering that that actually is the identity operator acting on phi j. And I'll just note that here. This is actually the identity. Um, but we can also write that as the sum over b of s b j psi b. For the bras, we have that bra phi i is the sum over a of bra phi i psi a bra psi a, which is equal to the sum over a of s dagger i a bra psi a. And remember that we're using this notation where we put the dagger on the s inside the brackets to make it clearer exactly what's going on. So now let's write a i j, which is bra phi i a hat ket phi j, and we will substitute in um, with these expressions we've just written for the expansion of phi j. So we get the sum over a of phi i psi a psi a and then we have a hat the operator and then a sum over b of psi b psi b phi j. And that's equal to the sum over a and b of s dagger i a, and then we have a prime a b, and then we have s b j. So we can write that the matrix a is equal to s dagger a prime s. Now that's not quite what we wanted. In fact, on the previous page we derived the other way around. We want a prime. Um, we can find this very simply. So, how do we get We're just going to multiply on the left and the right by s and s dagger. So, s acting on a is equal to s s dagger a prime s, but again remember that s s dagger is just the identity. So that's equal to a prime s, and then we find that, oops, s 
a s dagger is equal to a prime s s dagger, which is just a prime. So we have two different routes to explore how we can change the representation of an operator. The first route started from the definition of an operator by acting on a cat to get another cat um, and then inserted the identity operator. The second route is just expanding the basis set that we've used to create the operator in one representation in terms of the other representation.